City planners predict that within the next 30 years, we could build a building over a mile tall. The world's current tallest building is just half that height. The Burj Khalifa stretches over 2,700 feet into the sky. By the year 2050, it's estimated that over 6 billion people will live in cities and will need more super-tall skyscrapers to house them all. But our construction has its limits. We need lightweight material, more efficient ways to build and place building components, and some serious stability against natural disasters like earthquakes if we're really going to build towers that rise miles into the sky. With that in mind, let's have a look at the tallest towers ever designed and see just how far into the clouds skyscrapers could reach in our future. Exceed 4000 We'll start with one of the most famous tall buildings ever envisioned. And we're talking tall. It stretches about 2.5 miles high. Conceived in the mid-1990s for a spot in downtown Tokyo, the XC4000 has been called a sky penetrator or hyper building thanks to its massive design. Not only is it over 13,000 feet tall, it would require a monstrous base that's 3.7 miles across. The seed is basically an artificial mountain, with room for at least 1 million people to live comfortably. Its design plans for 800 stories. There would definitely need to be a light rail system and high-speed elevators galore for people to efficiently get around in this skyscraper city. So why was it never built? Well, first of all, it would literally dwarf Mount Fuji. It's about 735 feet taller than the famous mountain. It's also so tall, it would disrupt weather patterns. The base of the tower would also take up blocks and blocks of space, which leads us to the biggest issue, stability. It would need an incredibly strong foundation, lightweight material, and it would have to be safe from crumbling down during Japan's frequent earthquakes. And then there's the massive price tag, up to $1.4 trillion to buy up blocks of land and build this behemoth, Tokyo Tower of Babel. Tokyo is an incredibly dense city, so it's no wonder super tall tower designs are popular here. Another sky penetrating tower was designed to be built there in the early 1990s with the hopes that it would one day be home to over 30 million people. The Tokyo Tower of Babel is a legendary design that reimagines what it means to create outrageously huge sky high buildings. Many call it the tallest building conceived at more than six miles high. That's a whopping 33,000 feet tall. Its height would surpass Mount Everest by more than 3,900 feet. Its design is estimated that the tower would have up to 2,500 floors. To be built, it would need as much as 10 billion tons of steel. As you can imagine, a massive base would be required to support that kind of weight. It would have to be about twice the size of the small country of Luxembourg. To build something this massive, designers estimate that the construction would take between 100 and 150 years. It could potentially cost over $20 trillion and no one has that kind of money. So for now, the Tokyo Tower of Babel is just an incredibly expensive dream. But perhaps one day, some of us will live in this epic skyscraper city, which would be the tallest and most expensive building in the entire world. Dubai City Tower Another city known for incredibly tall towers is Dubai, but their most impressive tower is still just a concept. Dubai City Tower is a slim, futuristic-looking skyscraper with a prominent spire. There are six other structures surrounding its sleek core, inspired by the Eiffel Towers. This tower would be over 6,500 feet tall to its roof and over 7,800 feet tall to the tip of its spire. That's about seven times taller than the Empire State Building. The tower would have 400 floors and a vertical bullet train that functions as an elevator. Since the building would have huge energy requirements, sources of solar, thermal and wind energy would be used to power the structure. Dubai City Tower is meant for more than just looking cool. Its six outer structures help resist wind forces, stabilize the structure and spread out its mass which is very necessary for a building this high in the sky. Each of these outer buildings is connected to the central core every 100 floors, where there are also picturesque sky plazas. This waterside tower is described as a vertical city, so inside would have everything you need in a metropolis. Retail, apartments, offices, entertainment, and so much more. Millennium Challenge Tower Sustainability has become an important topic in the creation of our future architecture. That's what architect Omero Marchetti was thinking about when he came up with the idea for this next skyscraper, the Millennium Challenge Tower. 
Originally known as the Al Jabir Tower, it was designed for construction in Kuwait City and was expected to be over 6,000 feet tall. The over a mile high building was inspired by Machete's desire to create what he calls an ethic city. He believes these smart, environmentally conscious buildings are necessary to save our planet. When designing the Millennium Challenge Tower, he wanted to do away with iron and concrete, as well as traditional techniques of right angles and perpendicular planes. Instead, he wanted to reach soaring heights by using a lightweight material that mimics the hexagonal matrices of snowflakes. Snowflakes combine high volume with low weight, so he believed that recreating aspects of their structure was the smartest way to create a light but stable skyscraper. While its design is in the early stages, we might actually see the Millennium Tower begin construction in the next few years. Marchetti says that he has three projects of investors from different parts of the world interested in his project. Ultima Sky City Tower Speaking of skyscraper cities, San Francisco has its own proposal for a super tall tower that could be home to a million people. Ultimate Tower, also known as Sky City Tower, was designed by American architect Eugene Tsui in 1991. It's 500 stories and 10,500 feet tall. That's two miles high. It was intended as a solution to overpopulation. The designer described it as a mini ecosystem for its inhabitants. The plan proposed an over one mile wide base to support the towering structure. It would have a diameter of about 6,000 feet. They also planned for a high speed elevator. It would travel 20 feet per second. They estimated it would take around nine minutes and 40 seconds to reach the top floor from the ground floor. In total, Ultima Tower would have 1.5 million square feet of interior space. That's pretty impressive. It would also supply most of its own electricity. Tsui proposed a system in which the atmospheric pressure difference between the bottom and the top of the tower would create enough electricity to power most, if not all, of the building. Unfortunately, the plan ended up as a little too tall and a little too expensive to be practically built. It had an estimated $150 billion price tag. But hey, maybe one day San Francisco will be known for Sky City, just like it's known for the Golden Gate Bridge. The Space Elevator there's currently another super tall structure that engineers are trying to see if they can build, the Space Elevator. Okay, so it isn't exactly a tower, but it would be the highest structure in the world. This concept was originally proposed by Russian scientist Konstantin Skolkovsky in 1895 as a way to transport people and cargo to space without using rockets. Today, engineers think that a space elevator would work like this. Motorized elevator pods would travel up and down a ground to space tether. The tether would stretch from a spaceport at the equator to a space station in geosynchronous orbit. Centrifugal forces caused by the Earth's rotation would hold the tether under tension, keeping it stable for travelers. An Earth-based space elevator in the shape of a traditional building isn't possible because such a tall tower would collapse under its own weight. But this cable system might work. How tall would it have to be? Around 22,236 miles. The International Space Elevator Consortium formed in 2008 to promote the development of a space elevator. If it's ever built, it'll be the largest engineering project ever, with an estimated cost of $10 billion. Of course, we don't have the tech quite yet. Our materials aren't strong enough. We'd need carbon nanotubes or perhaps graphene produced in long, continuous sheets. But perhaps one day we'll build something that reaches all the way to space. Now it's time to let us know how high you think we could build. Would you live in one of these ultra-tall towers? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell while you're here so you don't miss any content on the world's most futuristic mega projects. Thanks for watching.